Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about all things Easter baskets. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got to put in my kindergartner's Easter basket. I tried to get practical items and things that she either needed or wanted. So little treats and little fun objects. You guys also know I also have an older teenage son. So I did pick up a few things for him as well. Even if your kid is away at college or they're just coming home for Easter or they're in the military, whatever that may be, maybe you want to mail them a little Easter care package or maybe um, they're going to be home so you're going to put together a little something. So I got him a few things as well and I'll show you guys those too. So let's get started. So the first thing that I picked up, my daughter had mentioned last year when her brother got a big chocolate that she wanted one, but she wasn't really into chocolate that much, but I guess maybe more this year. So I picked her up this bunny from Target. It's really cute. I like the flowers around, just simple. Um, this is one of them that is solid inside, so who knows how much of this she will actually eat, but I know that she will love this little springtime treat. In addition to that, we are in need. I had done a deep clean of pretty much every area in the house and she was in need of some new pajamas. So I picked up these princess ones. She loves anything Disney princess. These are from Target. It says shell phones and she hasn't had any that are Little Mermaid. So I just thought these were really cute and she loves a little nightgown. So really cute. These were $12 in the little girl section. Next, spring, summertime, you can't do anything without bubbles. I buy those big gallon size bubbles from Target. They're like two to three dollars, but I wanted some more um, fun things that we can do with those. So in her Easter basket, I'm going to put this little pinwheel. I thought it was really cute. It makes pretty big bubbles. Um, it actually comes with bubbles as well, but I thought this would be a fun activity and something fun for her to do in the backyard. Um, pinwheel, these you will find in the Target section where all the bubble type items are, like outdoor bubble, their little blow up pools, all of that stuff. I found this over there, but I thought this was perfect and a fun little spring summertime activity that she can do outdoors. Along with that, um, we're always in need of some new Play-Doh. I go through it, actually she goes through it frequently and she'll throw out anything that's hard or anything like that. So I thought these little egg Play-Dohs were really cute. They were in the back section of Target. If, if you're not seeing a theme, everything is mostly from Target. But um, they were in the back section of Target where all of the Easter items were and I just thought this was really cute. Last year I had got her the ones with that look like little bunnies. They had those this year as well. So these are really cute. Little Easter fun egg Play-Doh. We are, so we have the bubbles, Play-Doh, and you need some arts and crafts. I picked up this mess free. I love these. We've had I think every kind but she just hadn't had this one the pup adventures it's one of those mess free kits it comes with like the markers we have tons of them I do go through them to make sure they're not dried out and then it also comes with all the coloring pages this is perfect for like road trips so if you guys are going anywhere for spring break or any road trips this summer this is per perfect and then also when I have like other kids that come to my house. I like these mess free ones because they can't mark up like my sofa and mark up the different things in the playroom. These are kind of safe and good, but we love these. This Paw Patrol one was really cute and she hadn't done it yet. They did have a few different Paw Patrol ones, but we did pick up the Adventure Pups one. Next, to go with outdoor and all that fun stuff, we picked up some chalk. And guys, all chalk is not the same. Crayola chalk, I, we've had like Dollar Tree chalk, we've had the other, like the Target brand chalk. 
Crayola chalk is probably the best and it's really vibrant. So, but a little hack, if your chalk isn't that vibrant, you can have your kids kind of dip the tip in water and then that will make it brighter. But I just loved all these really vibrant colors. Um, we're always in need of new chalk around here and it has all of the fun spring colors. So the pinks, the greens, the blues, the oranges, and all of that good stuff. She can make her rainbows, unicorns, all of that fun stuff. So new chalk, always a good thing to put in an Easter basket. Next are kind of two um, beauty type things. She wanted some um, more nail polish and we love the Piggy Paint nail polish. It's all natural. It's very good for little ones. Um, this one we got, we got the neon fun colors. We have a few of these, but this, I loved it because it glows in the dark. Um, if you haven't heard about Piggy Paint Polish, it's non-toxic, odorless, water-based, cruelty-free, and vegan. So it's all of the good things, and it's just really good for little ones. So we got these fun, bright colors for spring. So when I'm doing her manis and her petties, we have some new colors. And then we are headband bow loving family. So I picked up her these. These are actually from um, Kroger, believe it or not. We're in Texas. My Kroger is like humongous. It has like clothes and hair accessories. So I thought these were perfect for springtime. They have little butterflies. So there's three headbands. So we have the pretty um, pearl one this beautiful butterfly one with gold and then just a little sparkly purple one and I thought these were perfect. This little set was $6.99 and it's just really cute and we can never have enough headbands. We have a ton but you can never have enough. And this brand is Lork and Laurel. I've never heard of it but they do have several variations of headbands at my Kroger so I thought this was good. And guys, that is it. Besides throwing in some Easter eggs, which I will put candy and we put a little bit of money in the Easter eggs, that is it for my daughter. So let's go on. Like I said, if you have an older kid, even if you're not putting together an Easter basket, even if they are away at college or in the military, anything like that, I just grabbed a few things for my oldest so that he had some Easter stuff. So this is his bunny. He got the Peter Rabbit bunny. Um, just has a little carrot. You guys know the story of Peter Rabbit, but this is kind of a classic, so I thought this would be good. He needs some chocolate too. And then I got him just a little chapstick. Who, what... Everybody needs a little chapstick. This one is a really good brand, like a good one that I even use, but um, good chapstick to throw in there. And then the main event, I got him a bunch of shirts. So I got him this striped one, this blue one, these are all the Goodfellow brand from Target in the men's section because he's a young, a young man. So this one. And then I thought this brown color was really cute. And they're short sleeves. I like these. They're good quality. They're soft. They wash well. He's had a bunch of this brand and they're just really good. And then last but not least, just least, I can't speak today, just a little loofah to throw in there as well. But that is it. So if you have an older one or somebody that's in college and you want to put together a little care packet, I'll probably throw some eggs with just money in his as well. But you want to throw together a little care packet, even if they're in college or the military, this is perfect for that. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it gave you a few ideas if you have a kindergartner or an older one that you are putting together some Easter baskets for. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys very soon with a whole new one. Bye guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, darling. Can
Can I tell you what's been on my mind? 